Hello everyone, today is 17th April 2021 and in this video I am going to discuss the current affairs of uh, today. All the important news I will be discussing, uh, today's important news. So let's get started with the first news. RBI sets up RRA 2.0 to streamline regulations and reduce compliance. So the Reserve Bank of India has decided to set up a new Regulations Review Authority. The full form of RRA is Regulations Review Authority 2.0 for a period of one year from the date of its establishment. So the date of establishment is not at known. So from the date when it is going to be get established, it will be there for one year. The RRA 2.0 which means Regulation Review Authority 2.0 will focus on streamlining regulatory instructions reduce compliance burden of the regulated entities by simplifying procedures and uh, reduce reporting requirements wherever possible. The Reserve Bank of India Deputy Governor M. Rajeshwar Rao has been appointed as the Regulations, Re Regulations Review Authority. So RBI has set up Regulations Review Authority 2.0 to streamline regulations and reduce compliance. So as the news is related to RBA, we will see some facts about RBA. RBA was established on 1st April 1935. Its present governor is Shakti Kanda Das. He is the 25th governor. And there are presently three deputy governors. Actually, there are four seats and one seat is now vacant because BP Kanungo has recently resigned. So the re remaining three who are in office or in charge are Mahesh Kumar Jain, Michael Debrata Patra and uh, Rajeshwar Rao, M. Rajeshwar Rao. So these are the three Deputy Governors of Reserve Bank of India. And also Reserve Bank of India has <coughs> its headquarters in uh, Mumbai, M Mumbai in Maharashtra. Then Reserve Bank of India has four subsidiaries. One of them is Deposit Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation, then National Housing Bank, Bharatiya Reserve Bank, Not Mudran Private Limited and Indian Financial Technology and Allied, Ser Allied Services. So these are the four subsidiaries of RBA. Also Reserve Bank of India has four note printing presses uh, out of which two are governed by Reserve Bank of India and two are governed by Government of, uh, sorry, two are governed by uh, Reserve Bank of India and two are governed by Government of India. Uh, so, the first two, that is Mysore, Salboni, Devasa, Nashik, these two, these four are the uh, not printing press. So, among them, first two, Mysore and Salboni are, are controlled by RBI and Devasa and Nashik are controlled by Government of India. Then there are four government mints, that is coin mints. So, they, they are uh, Mumbai, Kolkata, Hyderabad, Noida. They are in Mumbai, Kolkata, Hyderabad and Noida. So, these are, and uh, once more I will tell you the subsidiaries of Reserve Bank of India. One is Deposit Insurance Credit Guarantee Corporation, that is DICGC. Then National Housing Bank, NHB. Then Bharatiya Reserve Bank, Not Mudran Private Limited, BRN, BRBM, MPL and Indian Financial Technology and Allied Services, IFTAS. Now let's go to the next news. Former CBA Director Ranjit Sinha passes away at 68. So CBA stands for Central Bureau of Investigation. Director Ranjit Sinha has passed away. Uh, he was from Delhi, passed away in Delhi. Sinha was a retired officer of a 1974 batch of Indian Police Service and held several senior posts including that of CBA Director and uh, the Director General of Indo-Tibetan Border Police. So he was also the ITBP uh, Director General apart from CBA Director General. So Central Bureau of Investigation as the news is related uh, to this we will see some facts about Central Bureau of Investigation it was founded on 1st April 1963 its headquarters is in New Delhi. The parent organization or parent department of the Central Bureau of Investigation is Department of Personnel and Training. Director General, the present Director General of uh, CBI is Praveen Sinha. Then the next news, MasterCard partners with RBL Bank to offer first of its kind payment solution in India. So MasterCard and Mumbai headquartered private sector uh, RBL Bank announced partnership to launch a mobile based customer friendly payment solution the pay by bank app this will be the first of its kind payment functionality in the country and uh, suits the growing demand for digital contactless payments so mastercard partners with rbl bank 
to offer first of its kind payment solution in India. So some facts about MasterCard. It was founded on 16th December 1966 in the United States. Headquarters is uh, exactly located in Purchase in Harrison, which is in New York in the United States. So the CEO is Michael My Batch. My Batch or My Back. Uh, Michael Me Batch. Michael Me Batch. Then some facts about RBL uh, Bank. That is, it was founded on for August. 1943 headquartered in uh, Mumbai Maharashtra the tagline is Apnoka Bank the present MD and CEO of RBL Bank is Vishwavir Ahuja then the next news city group to shutter retail banking operations in 13 countries including India so city bank you might be knowing city bank and uh, the city group so city group is going to shutter uh, shut down its uh, retail banking operations in 13 countries including India so city group announced that it will shutter retail banking operations in 13 countries the 13 nations uh, city bank the largest foreign bank in India will pull out from Australia Bahrain China India Indonesia Korea Malaysia the Philippines Poland and Russia Taiwan Thailand and Vietnam the city group CEO is Jane Fraser so city group is going to shut down its operations in 13 countries uh, including India then the next news inaugural edition of the hydrogen economy new delhi dialogue 2021 so the energy forum and the federation of uh, indian petroleum industry fipi under the aegis of a uh, ministry of petroleum and natural gas government of india organized hydrogen round table titled hydrogen economy the india dial the indian dialogue 2021 this high level round table conference was led by Sri Dharmendra Pradhan, the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas. So it was the inaugural edition of Hydrogen Economy New Delhi Dialogue 2021. So some facts about Delhi. Delhi Chief Minister is Aravind Kejriwal. Lieutenant Governor is Anil Bhaijal. Then Bhadarpur Thermal Power Station. Rajgad Thermal Power Plant, Indraprastha Power Generation Company Limited, NTPC, then Pragadi Thermal Power Plant. These are in New Delhi. In Delhi, then Northern Power Electors Limited, Trans Electrica Limited, Dharial Polymers Private Limited. These are in New Delhi. Then National Zoological Park, Jamia Milia Islamia Ridge, House Khas Forest, Sanjay One Forest. These are in New, uh, these are also in Delhi. Now the next news. Microsoft makes its second biggest acquisition. Buys artificial intelligence speech tech company Nuance for $19.7 billion. So it is the second biggest acquisition. Earlier it has purchased a LinkedIn for $26 billion in 2016. Now they have uh, made another biggest acquisition. That is the tech company Nuance for uh, 19.7 billion dollar so microsoft has made its uh, second biggest acquisition after linkedin the tech giant uh, has uh, bought artificial intelligence uh, speech tech firm nuance for 19.7 billion dollar the move will help microsoft prowess in uh, voice recognition and will give it a boost in the healthcare market nuance is known uh, for its dragon software which help uh, helps to transcribe speech using deep learning so Microsoft makes its second biggest acquisition. Uh, it has decided to buy uh, artificial artificial intelligence tech company named Nuance for 19.7 billion dollar. Now some facts about Microsoft Corporation, founded on 4th April 1975. Founders are Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Headquarters is in Redmond, Washington, United United States. The CEO of uh, Microsoft Corporation is Satya Nadella. Then the next news. Important news, Nixie announces IP Guru, a new initiative aimed at raising awareness of the IPv6 uh, protocol in India. So, the National Internet Exchange of uh, India introduced the NISI IP index uh, which will showcase the adoption rate for IPv6 in India and compare it against other economies in the world. An expert panel IP Guru, IP Guru uh, will extend uh, support to the Indian organizations looking to move, uh, make the move to IPv6 systems. So Nixi is also creating education platform uh, for IPv6 called Nixi Academy. Nixi is a company under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. 
so nixi announces ip guru a new initiative aimed at raising uh, raising awareness of the ipv6 protocol in india then the next news center microsoft sign pact to promote a digital agriculture in 100 villages so the center and central government and microsoft has signed an agreement to promote digital agriculture in 100 villages the agriculture ministry and microsoft india have inked a memorandum of understanding for pilot project in 100 villages of six states to promote a digital agriculture Microsoft will start a pilot project in 100 villages in 10 districts of 6 states Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Haryana, Rajasthan and Andhra Pradesh. Now the next news. US President Joe Biden has announced a complete troop withdrawal from Afghanistan. So the US President Joe Biden has announced that US troops as well as our forces deployed by our NA NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, Allies and uh, Operational Map Partners uh, will be out of Af Afghanistan by September 11th this year, before the 20th anniversary of the heinous, uh, heinous attack on uh, September 11, 2001. Then the next news, National Highways Authority of India makes a network survey vehicle mandatory to improve road quality. The data collected through NSV surveys will highlight uh, deficiencies in uh, road conditions uh, promoting boat, uh, build, operate, transfer operators, NHA officials uh, to take corrective uh, steps to bring the road condition to the desired level. The data shall be uploaded on NHA's artificial intelligence based portal data lake where it will be analyzed by the road asses, asset management cell, RAM cell. So National Highways Authority of India has made the network survey vehicle mandatory to improve the road quality. So some facts about National uh, Highways Authority of India founded in 1988. Its headquarters is in New Delhi. Chairperson is Sanjeev Ranjan. Sanjeev Ranjan. Now the next news. Atal Innovation Mission partners with the DSF to promote a STEM based innovation and entrepreneurship. So Atal Innovation System aim. Uh, Niti Aayog signed an agreement uh, with the uh, Dassault System Foundation DSF to jointly work towards uh, providing a digitally rich ecosystem of innovation in India and promoting the STEM based uh, innovation and entrepreneurship among uh, aspiring young minds across uh, the country. So the news is Atal Innovation Mission has partnered with the uh, Dassault Systems Foundation to promote uh, STEM <coughs> based innovation and entrepreneurship. Then the next news, India to produce 850 million doses of Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine annually. So the Russian Direct Investment Fund has said more than 850 million doses of Sputnik V are going to be produced annually in India. Uh, the Russian Development, uh, Russian Direct Investment Fund has agreements with India, Glan Pharma, Hetero Biopharma, uh, Panacea Biotech, Stellis Biopharma and uh, Virchow biotech for production. India has become the 60th country to approve Sputnik V, said uh, uh, the Russian Direct Investment Fund CEO Kirill Dmitriev. Triev. Then the Russian vaccine has uh, an efficacy of 91.6%. Uh, so it is effective in uh, more than 91.6% uh, people. So the news is related to Russia. We will see the capital and currency along with the uh, uh, President and Prime Minister of Russia, the first capital and currency, Russia capital is Moscow, currency is ruble. The President is Vladimir Putin, Prime Minister is Mikhail Mishustin. So that's all for today's current affairs. I hope that you all have understood uh, this video, whatever I have told in this video. Uh, so if you have any doubt, you can mention it in the comment section. And also do share it with your friends who are preparing for various competitive examinations. So thank you everyone. Thank you.